And in your comfortable seat, just let your eyes closed once you feel settled. Soften your shoulders down your back, so a nice proud chest. Release any tension in your jaw, the space between and around your eyes, your forehead. And just start to take a few slow, deep rounds of breath. Inhale, feel your belly, your chest expand, inflate. And as you exhale, just get completely empty. Let something go. And I always like to start class in a little seated meditation just to ground down, kind of notice what you are showing up with. Definitely a crazy time that we're in, right? So if you're holding a little tension, it might be physical, it might be in your mind, it might be in your heart. Know that it's okay, it's normal. But see if you can take this time to just find a little softness, find a little ease. And it might be the first time today that you've really stopped to slow down and feel your breath. So notice it, the air as it travels in and out of your nose. Feeling your belly, your chest expand and contract. Start to become more aware of your surroundings, the temperature of the air on your skin. Any sounds. And if you notice your mind starts to wander, again, know that it's completely normal, it's completely fine. But just start to see, start to notice these thoughts as they come up. What is the quality of the way that you're speaking to yourself in this moment? And perhaps you make the choice to just let these thoughts go. Bring your focus, your awareness back to the present moment, back to your breath. Just giving yourself this little vacation from all of the mind chatter that we tend to live with. And in this easy seat, we'll just start to deepen our breath. We'll take a full inhale through the nose for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the very top. And exhale, let it go for five, four, three, two, one. Again, big breath in for five. Four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale, let it go for five, four, three, two, and one. 
Feel free to take a few more rounds of this slow, deep breath on your own. And if five is too short or too long, you can always shorten or expand the count. Just try to keep it even between your inhales and exhales. And continue to soften your shoulders down your back. We'll take one more full, slow round of breath whenever you let that exhale go. Just let your breath return to its natural rhythm. So no need to change, control anything, but do just notice if you feel any different, if there's any sense of just balance, peace, ease. From your seat, take an inhale as you sweep both arms out and up. So sit a little bit taller, press your palms together. And as you exhale, slowly gather both hands down to your heart on Jali Mudra. One more collective breath, big inhale, fill up. And open mouth, sigh it out, let it go. On your own time, slowly release your hands back down. You can blink your eyes open and take as much time as you need to come into a tabletop. So all fours, stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. I'm gonna start some music and we're gonna get a little gentle flow in, some movement before we try to slow down, move into yin. Again, we are in a tabletop. Just spread your fingers wide and let's take a few rounds of gentle cat-cow just to bring some movement into the spine. As you inhale, drop your belly. Really pull your heart forward and up here. Slight lift with your gaze. This is your cow. And then as you exhale, press away from your mat, round into your cat. Take that two more times, nice and slow. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, lift your gaze. And exhale, cat, press into hands, shins, tops of your feet, great space in your spine. One more, inhale, cow, shoulders away from your ears, nice open heart. And exhale, cat, round it out, pull your belly button towards your spine. From here, let's start to come back to our neutral table. Let's spread fingertips so they face the um, outer edge of your mat. So right fingertips will face towards the right, left fingertips will face towards the left side of your mat. You might sway side to side, maybe forward, back, nothing crazy, just noticing how this little shift changes the stretch in our wrists. And then from here, you can take one hand to face your knees. So right now my right fingertips are facing my right knee. And if this feels okay, you might take the left hand as well. If this feels like a little bit too much, you can take one hand at a time. You might also be slightly lifted if the heel of your hand doesn't make it to your mat. And then same thing here, maybe you play with a little shift forward, little shift back. It's giving the wrist a little stretch. And from here, you can keep fingertips facing your knees, but turn the tops of your hands down to your mat. And then again, you might take one hand at a time. You might take both at the same time. So now your palms are facing up. Let's take two more breaths. Slowly bring your hands back to normal, so fingertips face forward. Tuck your toes under, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, easily send your hips all the way up. Find your first downward facing dog. Hmm. 
So we just work into those hands, those wrists. Keep them active here. So press down evenly through both palms. From your forearms in towards one another as you start to spiral your upper arms or triceps down towards your mat, armpits in towards your face. And then just notice how this first down dog feels. For me, this is the first down dog of my day. Sunday is my little rest day. So if it feels a little tight, a little tender, that's okay. Feel free to bend your knees, bring some gentle movement. And just deepen your breath, find the shape. Keep sending your hips up and back so we lengthen through our spine, sides of our waist. Relax through your neck. Let's take three more rounds of breath here. Good. From here, slowly bend both knees, gaze forward. And as you exhale, take slow, easy steps to the top of your mat. Settle into your ragdoll pose. So feet about hips width apart, give or take. And just dangle, get heavy for your upper body. You can grab for opposite elbows like so. Maybe take a sway side to side. And same thing here. If it's a lot in your hamstrings, always feel free to bend your knees a little or a lot. Let your torso drape over your thighs. And then just totally release through your neck. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe give it a nod. Yes, shake it now. Take three more rounds of breath. Slowly release any grip you found with your arms. Take a little bend in your knees, ground down through soles of both feet. Tuck your chin and slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Just enjoy this little stretch in the back side of your body, back of your neck. When you're standing tall, let your gaze come forward. Take a big inhale, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, drop your shoulders down your back. Bring your hands to heart center, Samastiti. And close your eyes here and just take a moment. The soles of your feet root down into your mat. Stand a little bit taller, big inhale. Exhale, let it go. Find a little movement here. Inhale, sweep your arms up, mountain pose. And exhale, fold forward, lead with your heart. So a nice flat back as you lower it down. Inhale, find your first half lift, flat back, reach crown of your head forward. Hands can come to shins, thighs, or fingertips can stay on your mat. And then exhale, lower down into your fold, plant both hands, step one foot at a time into your high plank pose. So strong line of energy with your body, press away from your mat, inhale. As you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. You can always drop knees on the way. Untuck your toes, three rolling cobras. Inhale, peel your heart forward and up. Exhale, lower that down. Two more times, inhale, heart up, elbows back, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, peel up. And exhale, soften it down. Send your hips to your heels for a child's pose. Keep your fingertips reaching forward, so lengthen your spine, inhale. As you exhale, tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. And exhale, bring hands down to heart. Inhale, reach arms up, mountain. 
and exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, hands down, step back, high plank. One inhale as you press away from your mat. Exhale, lower all the way to belly. One cobra, inhale, heart forward and up. Exhale, soften that down. Child's pose, send your hips to your heels, just one inhale. And as you exhale, tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. And let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step, top of mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Little different this time. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back. Drop your left knee, untuck left toes. Inhale, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Sweep both arms up overhead. We'll square off both hips and both shoulders to the front. Press down through the top of your left foot, your left shin. Just feel the stretch in your left quad, left hip flexor. I'm here, take a big inhale as you reach your fingertips up. So lengthen through sides of your waist. And as you exhale, take a little side body stretch towards the right. So right fingertips come down either to mat or maybe you grab a block. Reach your left fingertips up and over. Just opening through the left side of your body here. Let's take three more slow, deep rounds of breath. Slow and controlled. Inhale, reach your right fingertips back up. And as you exhale, just bend your elbows, open up your heart. Inhale, reach both arms up once again. Exhale, plant your hands down, tuck your left toes, lift your left knee, step your right foot back, high plank. You can lower down to your belly, or if you'd like to take chaturanga, lower halfway down, elbows to sides. Heart forward and up, cobra or up dog, up to you. And exhale, slowly lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Big inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Left side, then we slow things down. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, travel, top of mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. A little different. Exhale, fold, hands down. Step your right foot back this time. Drop your right knee, untuck right toes. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Sweep your arms up. So same shape, other side. Settle into it here. Notice if you're just dumping into your low back. Pull your low belly up and in. Keep that engagement through your core. One more inhale here. As you exhale, side body stretch. Left fingertips come down, either mat or block. Reach your right arm up and over, and just open up the right side of your body. Take three more rounds of breath, slow, controlled breaths. Slowly reach both arms back up. And exhale, bend your elbows, open up your heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, plant your hands, step it back, high plank. And travel through your final flow of class, whether it's chaturanga, all the way down to your belly. Or you can always just send it right back into your downward dog, we'll meet here. 
Take one more big inhale through your nose, fill all the way up. And open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. From here, let's slowly drop down to our knees. We're gonna start our yin practice in a child's pose. So, knees wide, we'll sit our hips to our heels, and feel free to use props to get yourself comfortable here. So if knees are sensitive, you can bring a blanket underneath your knees or underneath your seat. If you'd like to bring a bolster under your torso for some support, a more restorative variation, that might feel really nice, so you can try that on. Start to get settled in your first yin shape, nice, easy, wide, knee child's pose. And if you have one cheek resting on your bolster or mat, I'll let you know when we're halfway through so you can switch sides. Start to slow down your breath. Let your eyes close if that feels okay to you. Start to settle in. If you have one cheek resting on bolster or a mat, gently switch sides. Balance it out for the remainder of this hold. Slowly start to take five more rounds of breath on this side. A sense of rush. Deepening the breath to let the body know that we're about to move out of this shape. Mm -hmm. 
as you let that last breath go slowly, easily, start to walk your hands back towards you, lifting yourself all the way up. We're gonna move into our swan pose to target the outer hips. If you do a lot of vinyasa, you might think of this pose as your half pigeon. So I'll show it to you, and if it doesn't feel good in your body, feel free to come onto your back and take a figure four, which looks like this. An ankle over your thigh, then you can keep this foot planted, or if you want to deepen the stretch, you can lift this knee closer to your chest. So that's an option. It's a little less intense, because this is a big one for the outer hips. I love having a bolster and blanket for this one. You can get into it from either a tabletop or you might want to take a downward facing dog just as a transition. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back. We'll start on the right side. You can float your right leg high. If you want to give it a little bend just to bring in a little movement before we find the stillness, feel free. And then we'll sweep right knee behind our right wrist. Drop your left knee and walk your left leg along behind you. Untuck your left toes. So you can gaze back and make sure your left ankle is in one line, or excuse me, your left leg is in one line from your ankle to your hip. So you really want your weight to be evenly distributed. We're not rolling on to the right or left side. I also love having a bolster under my, bell my belly here, so I'm gonna use that. Feel free to use either a pillow or a bolster. And then check in on your right hip. If it's super lifted off of your mat, that is fine. But do feel free to support it. You can slide a blanket or a block underneath so it feels like it's held and not just kind of sitting in space. As you feel settled, you can go ahead and lower your upper body give your forehead a place to rest, whether it's on a block, a bolster, a pillow, or maybe just on your mat. And we'll find this deep stretch in the outer right hip. Perhaps you allow your eyes to close once again. Just continue to breathe, slow, deep inhales and exhales. Just notice if you're holding any unnecessary tension in your shoulders, your jaw, maybe even your neck. Forehead. You find this balance between effort and ease. And without any sense of rush, start to invite your final five rounds of breath on this side. 
Whenever you let that final breath leave your body, slowly start to walk your hands back towards you, lift your chest back up. And you move out of this in whatever way feels best to you. So you can tuck your left toes, send it into a downward facing dog, maybe pedal it up. Or if it feels better for you to roll onto your right hip and sweep your legs out in front of you, you can do that as well. Your choice here. That's a big shape, so just give yourself some time to release any tension that might have built up. I'm going to take the same exact pose on the left side, so you take your time getting there. If you're in a downward dog and want to just kind of shake out your left leg, feel free to do so. We'll bring the left knee behind the left wrist this time. Extend your right leg along behind you. Untuck your right toes. This one is a bigger shape, so do give yourself time to get set up here. So we are going for that stretch. We're definitely going for sensation, but never pain or pinching. So if something doesn't feel quite right, can always ease out of it. Maybe take that figure four variation on your back. As you feel settled, you can go ahead, lower your upper body. Just finding your swan pose on the left side. Start to take our last five rounds of breath on the left side. Thank you. 
And whenever you let that last breath go, one more time, start to walk your hands back towards you. Lift yourself back up, just adding in this little back bend element into the shape. And however you came out of this on the right side, go ahead, do that here. You can take any movements that feel good. This will allow you to, once again, release any tension that might have built up. So you feel like you've gotten out any wiggles and shakes. We'll move into Sphinx pose. So a nice um, back bend, stretch for the low back. Move any props to the side. We'll come onto our bellies for this one. And you'll bring both forearms, both palms down to your mat. Keep your toes untucked. Again, we're stretching the low back here. Your palms parallel to one another. And really pull your heart forward and up. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. And you can adjust the depth of your back bend. So the more you walk your hands away from you, the less intense the back bend will get. The more you walk your elbows towards you, the deeper the back bend but don't bring them any further back than directly underneath your shoulders or else it starts to get really funky for the low back. You can gaze forward. If that feels a little bit too much for your neck. You can bring your gaze down. You can rest your forehead on a block if that feels good. Notice if you are really clenching your glutes, if you can find some softness in that space. I'm just undoing all of the sitting, the rounding forward we've been doing. The backside body, some time, some space to expand. Welcome to stay exactly as you are. Take one more minute in the shape. If you are craving a deeper back bend, you might explore a seal pose. Press into both palms and see if you can slowly start to straighten your arms. So it is a deeper back bend. If at any point it becomes too much, just lower right back down to your forearms. You should be able to maintain that slow, easy breath. And yin yoga is all about honoring our edges. So yes, we're finding a stretch, but we're also listening to the body, finding that point where it tells you, it's enough, this is good. And settle here, Don't push it too far. Let's take three more rounds of breath. Slowly lower all the way down. Take your time here. Spin your elbows out to each side, stack one hand over the other, and just let your forehead rest on top. Just deepen your breath here. Really allow your belly to expand into your mat as you inhale. During the studio classes, I love to come around and give a little low back massage. So one thing you can do here if it feels good 
is bend your knees and then just kind of windshield wiper your feet to the right, to the left. Just releasing the low back. Here you can extend your legs. And it's kind of like a pancake. We're going to flip over onto our backs. So we'll take a supine twist here. If you want to have your pillow or your bolster handy, I would recommend bringing it to the left side of your body, so outside of your left leg. From here, keep your left leg straight and hug your right knee in towards your right shoulder. So think up and around. Nice little stretch here. And then from here, we'll take a little scooch of the hips to the right as you guide your right knee across your body. And if you'd like, you can let your right leg rest on this blanket, or excuse me, this bolster, or, uh, or pillow. You can reach your right arm long, or it might feel better to bend it into a little bowl post. And if your right shoulder is just kind of floating in space, you can slide a blanket underneath for more support. Nice detoxifying twist. With every inhale, allow the sense of space in your spine. And every exhale, just surrender into the support of your mat. Once again, without any sense of rush, take five more rounds of breath on this side. So you let that last breath go slowly, easily. Start to bring both knees back to center. And you can hug both knees into your chest. Thank you. 
And slowly lower that down. If you use any props, go ahead, switch them here. So we'll take this twist on the other side. Extend your right leg this time. Hug your left knee up and around towards your left shoulder. Again, just enjoy this little stretch. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, find that twist. So we send the hips to the left. Guide left knee across the body. Maybe it rests on that bolster, that pillow. Then you can slide a blanket underneath your left shoulder for support. Feel free to adjust as needed so that you feel comfortable. Every inhale, lengthen the spine. And every exhale, sink into the support of your mat. So let's take our last five rounds of breath on this side. As you feel ready, just bring that right back to center. And hug knees into your chest. Let's move into a happy baby. Grab for outer edges of your feet if that feels accessible. Flex and kick both feet up towards the ceiling as you bend and draw your knees down towards your mat. Feel free to sway side to side. You might extend one leg, the other, maybe both. Feel free to flutter your lips, make a sound, just kind of release any tension that you might be storing in your face.
Slowly bring soles of feet together to touch. Lower pinky toe edges of your feet down to your mat. Knees are open wide for your Supta Baddha Konasana. So butterfly legs and we're just laying on our backs. Bring one hand to belly, one hand to heart if that feels nourishing to you. Close your eyes and just feel the beating of your heart. Rise and fall of your belly and your hand as you inhale and exhale. You're welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. Whenever you feel ready to get as comfortable as possible and settle into your final Shavasana, feel free to grab any props. You might bring a blanket underneath your head or on top of you. I like to bring a bolster underneath the knees for a little support. We feel nice for the low back. So take a few moments here just to really get yourself set up. I'm going to turn off these lights. This is your time to get as comfortable as possible. If you have a little towel or even a t-shirt that you'd like to rest over your eyes, block out any excess light, feel free to do so. Just extend your arms, your legs. Allow your shoulders to just melt into the support of your mat, any props beneath you. Let go of any lingering tension in your jaw. Space between and around your eyes, your forehead. yourself permission to rest, to be completely at ease, complete sense of surrender. And I'll call you out when it's time.
As you feel ready, slowly start to deepen your breath. Taking active inhales and exhales as a gentle way to wake up the body, the mind. You can invite small movements into your fingers and toes, some movements in your wrists and ankles. And if it feels good to you, you can reach arms up over high, just stretch it all out from fingers to toes. It's first thing in the morning. Slowly start to roll onto your left side. We take the left to release the right nostril, our yang channel up. Restore some balance after a yin practice. On your own time, keeping your eyes closed, slowly press into a comfortable seat. And we'll seal in this practice with one collective breath. In your seat, gather hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Take an exhale just to empty everything out. Through your nose, inhale, fill all the way up. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Loka, samasta, sukhina, bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my actions contribute to that feeling of peace for all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Take care of yourself and have a beautiful evening. Namaste. night friends we will download this recording and post it on our facebook page so if you enjoyed you can come back at any time take care of yourself out there and we'll see you next time bye